on the recording and I am sharing the screen. Yeah, so uh, yes. Now we talk about the data communication part and we talk about uh, this uh, uh, methods that it can uh, communicate like uh, simplex, half duplex and full duplex. Then we talk about the data transmission media, right? Uh, about the uh, <coughs> twisted pair cables, coaxial cables, fiber optics, right? And as well as the unguided media, uh, like radio waves, microwaves, and uh, uh, these two things that uh, help us to communicate from sender to the receiver right so today we are going to talk about the uh, network devices right so uh, like uh, i'm just looking how how far that we have to travel right yeah i think we will be able to uh, finish it up today the second lesson so we can uh, shift to a, a, a practical lesson by next week right so let's try our best right so the network devices now when it comes to the computer network, now network, why we need networking? Now networking means like uh, communicating one particular device with some other device, right? So when, when, when only two people are, even though only two devices are communicating, still we call it a network, right? Because those two, those two devices are in the same domain and they are just in the same level and they are communicating. So when it comes to the computer networks, it goes a little bit beyond that, right? So these computer networks is a collection of, collection of devices which can communicate with each other. So to collect the devices or like to, to collect these devices, to connect these devices together, there are some special devices too, right? Hammer device, uh, devices, right? There are some specific devices which has that ability or which has the uh, ability to create a network, right? So for a small network, uh, we address it as a LAN, local area network. Now, now just, just uh, uh, have the picture about your school laboratory, the computer lab, right? Uh, if, if you picture it in your mind, you can remember like in most of the networks, most of the networks, they, they got this uh, uh, ash color box. Come on in. Ash color box, I need that. Susu, come here. You have to sit from here. Come here, sit here. Come here, sit here. Come Right. So as I told you people, uh, there are no, like, like not all the devices that has the ability to, to connect things together, right? So to create a network, we need some devices which has that specific ability, right? So some devices has connecting devices together and some devices have connecting, uh, has the ability to connect with the internet. And some devices has the ability to give the security, right? So likewise, right? So when it comes to the networking, as I told you, uh, like I, I ask you to picture or like just uh, take a picture into your mind about your computer lab, right? So that particular uh, computer network will be having this uh, uh, device called switch, right? Now, what is, what are we like addressing as a switch? 
it's it's not this switch that we can find on the walls in our home right in our houses right there is a specific device called a switch which has the ability to connect lot of network cables into it right i think you have seen a network cable network cable ekak dekala thiniyeda right uh, like uh, even even though we uh, uh, like like even we have uh, discussed some of the cables in previous day so you have the idea what is a network cable is so we use a network cable or an unguided media to have a small network so when the network is small in size we call it a local area network now when you are when you are connecting to the router uh, at your home like you will be uh, connected with your device and your mother will be connected with her device and father or some brothers right or sisters they will connected together right so that means you are forming a very little network inside it so we call it a local area network or in short form lan l a n lan right so <clears throat> even though we got this uh, small network and and one particular device call a uh, router in our house but when it actually happens when it actually happens we need some specific devices to develop a local area network now in this picture you can see there are these desktop over here and there is a device called switch right over here and i'll show you a clear picture uh, about this uh, i'll have some presentation for you to show but uh, i need you to concentrate on this for the moment right so this switch is there and there is called uh, something called server is there right so now this server is not a must uh, to the uh, network right but if you got a server you have the facility of receiving services from the server right so now for the moment just don't think about what are the services that we can receive right so there are many different services that a server can give and just what you need to remember is if you got a server you can have or like these these computers can have these desktops can have several services right okay just a second Okay. Right. So now let's uh, get to know about these small devices one by one. So first one is called NIC, Network Interface Card. Right. So like Network Interface Card, we talk about this last time as well when we like uh, talking about the cables. Ne the mangalan pen mo. Right. So now you know what is this cable. So this is a twisted pair one, the the white color one. Right. so this twisted pair one can be connected to these kind of uh, uh, connectors or the interface we call it right so this is called the rj45 jack right and then even even in here the separate uh, uh, nic network interface card has a network connector separately right again ogalange motherboard ekatama fix karala rj45 port ek enna puluwa or you can separately buy a network interface card from a, a computer accessory selling shop and you can fix it onto your motherboard so again you will be having another network port and uh, this is what you call switch and hub right so like not now switch and hub are like two different things right but it is only the switch and hub which has the ability to connect the devices together right let me show you something
Yeah, yeah. This is uh, something I have made for grade nine, but I think it's uh, uh, fixed with you with this section, right? Now we can connect with the printer using a USB cable, right? But uh, when I have a friend, like we don't have two USB cables, like, like we can't use two USB cables and connect to the same printer, right? Because printer got this one particular USB port at the back of it. So when I need to have a printout, I'll be connecting the USB cable to my computer and uh, will be having and the, then I have to eject it uh, from my uh, eject it from the printer and ask my friend to connect the connect his USB cable and have the printing out. But you can see there is a RJ45 port right over here, right? So we can use that port and we can network this printer, these two computers, right? So <clears throat> to do that, we need a switch or a hub and the network cables, right? Which has the RJ45 connectors, right? So as your uh, <clears throat> textbook explains, like this switch as well as hub has the ability to connect things together, right? And this switch and hub is specifically uh, there to connect the network or like to create the network using twisted pair cable. Api network cable like a kela kena kena ta kela tamai network ka hadaga ne aata pulo nukama di. Right, and if you need this coaxial and fiber optic cables to be uh, needed to be created a network, uh, we have to find a switch or hub which uh, support to that particular thing. And you have seen these two things. Now this is on board. motherboard So these are the, this is the interface, the RG45, where we are going to connect the network cable. And when it comes to the uh, network interface card NIC. Uh, it is a separate one and it can be connected on the motherboard using some ports, right? So it is called network interface card, right? So as I told you, like these are the connectors that we can see now. This is, these are the general ports like the network ports that we can see. But uh, when it comes to the coaxial cables and uh, fiber optic cables, uh, the connectors are different. Right, I mean, take again, I karani. Now, here's the way that we are going to connect the, uh, connect two computers or like connect more than two devices together, right? So how we are going to do is we use uh, something like uh, what we call a switch or a hub. And we are going, using a network cable, we are going to connect those three things into the switch. Right, so switch is acting as the center device. Right, so if I need to have a printout, now I have a way to reach the printer. And at the same time, my friend has a way to reach the printer too. Right, so both of us can have the printouts or like uh, send the uh, documents to the printer at the same time. Have I mage document take a yaloga document take a yakasari print in an echo villa? Right? So, it and a mulling reach when I can argue document take a print to library. The other document will get printed. Right? So, to do that, we are using the network port of the printer. Right? Okay. Now, you have the idea how this uh, hub and the switch is working now. Right? And uh, there are some differences between switch and hub. So we call uh, this hub is a dumb device and a switch is an intelligent device, right? Uh, so the, uh, uh, because when hub, hub receives something, then my uh, presentation came, mom metana hub backup tibunana instead of switch. If I fix a hub, when I am giving a command to do the printing, I print the command to do the data. I am going to do the data. Computer is going to do the data. 
so then if this is a hub hub will send that data on this line as well as on this line then atta me yanna one printer ek gawata vitarai enata hub ekak teka therenne hub ekak eyata theenna thiyena paarawa lokko gema data ekak yawana so it will create an unnecessary traffic right eka hariyata apita paare dakinna hambenata paare hama paarakama wahana gihilla gihilla hira vela thiyena aha samana right but when it comes to the switch switch is not like that switch ekata mona hari deyak receive una so if when i when i'm sending my data into the switch and switch recognize to which device that this data belongs to man print karanna kiyala data ekak man yawwe switch ekak adunu ganna ama eka printer ekata thamai aithi so switch only send that data to the printer not anywhere else so because of that we tell this printer is an inter no sorry this switch is an intelligent device and hub is a dumb device and as well as because of the behavior of this hub as well as this switch hub creates unnecessary traffic data traffic and switch will not create unnecessary data traffic right okay so other than that uh, there are some differences in physical appearance as well as well as the ports that the hub and the switch contains right so hub what are you eating orange orange good right so uh, <clears throat> and uh, the, here it uh, tells you another a uh, major difference hub uses half duplex mode so we know what the half duplex is and the switch uses full duplex mode right so that is what the hub and the switch is doing so why hub and switch is there to create a small network which we call lan right local area network so there are similarities and there are differences when it comes to the hub and the switch right therunada pahadile idu let me have the confirmation yes people how was it right dinelka thank you how about others others how about you all ah, right okay all right so the next one is called the wifi so wifi stands for wireless fidelity Now, actually, Wi-Fi is a technology, or like uh, is a is actually a, a, a wave, right? Which allows us to connect uh, wirelessly and perform a network, right? So we need uh, to connect with Wi-Fi. We need Wi-Fi access points, right? so wifi access points are inside your router right so like from a devices like laptops uh, for mobile phones smartphones tablets kind of things they have wifi connectors inbuilt in those devices right so all we need to do is just uh, uh, turn in on the wifi facility so it will connect it or like it will show what are the available uh, wifi access points in your area right it's called my obalange router ek enama obalange wifi list ek wet enne wifi on kara right so then we can connect with it sometimes it request a password sometimes it's not so that is up to us api password ekak daala thiyenawa na so it will be requested otherwise it will allow you to connect without any problem right so remember this wifi access points are included in the router 
So at the time, I have Wi-Fi kiela uh, device ekakne hai. Wi-Fi is the uh, medium that we use, and that access points are given by the routers, right? So router can do many different things, right? Go and ask, right? So then, uh, router has the ability of connecting. Connecting more uh, two or more networks together. Just a second, people. Okay. Right. So, uh, other than connecting you to the uh, internet, router has the ability to connect two different networks together as well. Right. So, like. Uh, when you are connecting with the internet, it is the same thing that happens. Yeah, Udamya, that is why I told you the Wi-Fi is not a device to work. It's just a signal that we use, right? So Wi-Fi access points are there inside the router. So, me, me, pay na thina dekha kama router ekak tamai, right? So, like, me, me, Wi-Fi ke dala device ekak da apeka. It's not a good illustration, right? So, this Wi-Fi access point is a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a very small component that can uh, fix into the routers, into the mobile devices, into the laptops, and all these things, right? So, then using these Wi-Fi access points. We connect with the Wi-Fi uh, Wi-Fi provider or like Wi-Fi providing device, which we call the router. So actually, uh, router is the device which allow us to connect with internet through the Wi-Fi connectivity. Right? So a router, a router, a internet connection, like that, you know, right? And router, that is, a Wi-Fi access points, that mobile phone making desktop picking laptop picking connect right so it connect, it, it creates the connection right now body diagram it is something like this Suhara, go to the living room. Take the phone and go to the living room. Achama will bring there. Go there. Right. So if I draw you a, a little diagram, it will be something like this. Now, your router is will be here. So let's say this is your router. And this is the mobile phone. Right. And this has a Wi-Fi access point. And even in even inside the router has some Wi-Fi access points. Right? You, can you consider a laptop but it has the same thing it has a wi-fi access point a wi-fi access points and a router separately through a network cable connected with this big network called internet appear them connection uh, satellite right connection router connect right so me par in the line connection it is what you call internet right so then over the wireless router it's the signal that you receive from the satellite 
right? So satellite take map take communicate current. So router has the internet connection with the internet, and then using these access points, Wi-Fi access points. It is connected with, with these devices, right? So that means it is creating a path to go out of your network. Right? So that is what you call connecting with the internet. So Wi-Fi is the signal. Right now, this device is called the router. Sometimes we call it the gateway device. Right. Got it. Udamya, did you got that? The right, great. Okay, then, uh, like uh, previously, like before the uh, router uh, comes to the uh, play, uh, this modem is the one which helps us to connect with internet, right? So uh, when we when we are having the modems at our home, like it it connects through the telephone line, and uh, the problem on those days were when we are having a telephone conversation, we can't have the uh, internet facility, and when we are having the internet facility, we can't have the telephone conversation. Right? Again, call the kagda na ba internet ki hila dito kaya internet yan na ba call the kag Right? So later, uh, they solve the problem. They make two different frequencies for data and for voice. splitter device So they use a splitter to split the lines to receive the uh, audio call, so like audio separately, and to uh, receive the data separately. Right? Then, uh, it was okay, right? Now this modern word is made out of this uh, 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 made of made out of these letters that takes from modulation and demodulation, right? So they take mo from modulation and dem for demodulation, right? Now this modem has the ability of converting the digital signals into uh, analog signals and Vice versa, any petra karana pulo. Analog ka digital karana pulo. Digital ka analog karana pulo. Right? Okay. So this is how it happens. See, the computer is there. It gives you the digital signals, and modem converts it into the analog signals and send it to the analog network. Right? And firewall is there to provide the security. Right. Yes, Pehara telephone signals are analog. Yes, it is. Right. And uh, what we are generating from the computers are digital. Right. Because they are they are trying to send the digital signals through the telephone network, which is an analog network. Right, and firewall is there to protect pro to protect your network. Firewall can uh, we can guide the firewall and we can give details to the firewall who can have the access to our network from the outside and who don't. Then firewall check always whatever it is being received, whether it is a, a 
a loved one to come or not right so then it uh, gives a permission to enter or otherwise it will be rejected right okay so before we come to the client server network let's write about these things neither yeah people just uh, confirm whether uh, did, did we did we uh, write up to the point of infrared infrared when kang apply work yeah great okay so today you are going to put the uh, put the head in ah yes sudamya <laughs> Proxy, yes. Now, proxy, uh, uh, do the proxy again. Hold it to me again again. The pull one yellow like sticker. Uh, proxy is another kind of gateway device. Route a wage whether current pull one server, you know, which we call proxy server. It has many other functions as well. So, then now, like firewall, router, proxy, all these things are working as the gateway devices. They have same functions as well as some different functions, right? Right. So yeah, put the heading computer network devices. Yeah. Then uh, it's better you copy down this uh, uh, first two sentences. And I want you to draw this diagram, not like this, but you can uh, you can use the circles and squares to uh, represent the devices and just uh, write the name on it, right? So it means like this, right? So you can you can draw it like this. You can say this is desktop one or like PC one. And this is like PC2, and this is like PC3, and it is uh, connected with the switch. Right, and switch is connected with the server. Right, likewise. Right, or maybe the header and the Ganami diagram. the entire diagram, right? Right, so this is Wi-Fi access point. So you can have uh, dotted lines. This will be mobile one. Mobile two likewise. And uh, all these things are connecting with the firewall. And it will be connected to a modem. And modem will connect us to the internet. Yeah. 
Okay, let me know when you are done. So, can you go to the living room and see? Watch. One is done. Right, how about others? All right, to Adam. How about others? Right. Okay. Let's move forward. Just uh, indicate me if there is anyone who is still writing. <laughs> right. So we are moving forward. Okay, so next we are going to uh, light a, write a very short note regarding these uh, uh, devices, right? So Roman number one, network interface card, NIC, Sohara, go to the couch. Okay, put the uh, network interface card and uh, copy these two lines, people. Right, the heading is network interface card. Go.
Okay, are we done? Okay, one is done. How about others? Okay, so we are moving forward. Okay, second uh, subheading switch slash hub. Yeah, you have to uh, write these two lines. Right, once it is done, you have to uh, draw a table which has two columns. Uh, the first column heading will be the hub, the other column heading will be the switch. So we are going to do the comparison. So once you're done with these uh, two lines, then you have to draw that uh, table and I'm going to fill the table. Okay, one is done.
Right, so your switch, uh, the, the table is going to be like this. So at one side it's hub and the other side it's switch. Right, so the first point, hub is slow, switch is speed. You can write uh, with me. And the second point, uh, let's take it from your textbook. Send the transmitted data to all the computers. In the transmitted data to the relevant computer. And your book says Create unnecessary data congestion. Create unnecessary data condition. And how? Use half duplex switch, use full duplex. Right, complete it and let me know.
Are we done, people? Yes, one is done. How about others? Right. Okay. So moving forward. Uh, hold on. Let me see what we can do. I'm Wi-Fi. Yeah, so let's uh, write regarding the virus fidelity in this manner. So uh, put the uh, subheading virus fidelity by five. Lower your voice. Go to a channel. Go to a channel. Right, so you can write it like this. Start it from here. Like Wi Fi access points are used. Wi Fi access points are used. Used. To allow, to allow Wi Fi access points are used to allow, then you can continue from here. To allow the users to build a computer network easily and internet connection for mobile phones and laptop computers using radio waves. Right, so remember when it comes to the Wi Fi, it's the uh, Wi Fi access point that we are talking about. It's not a device, right? Like that access point is embedded to the routers. Okay, one is done. Right, are we done? Oh, yes, one is done.
ओके राइट सो मूविंग फॉरवर्ड अबाउट द राउटर नेटवर्कुलट එන්න ඉඩ දීමයි එන්න වැලක්වීමයි. දැන් වයිරස් ගාඩ් එකෙන් තව දේවල් කරනවා. රයිට්? ඒතර දෙකෙන්ම සෙකියුරිටි තමයි බැලෙන්නේ බට් ඉට් ඉස් හැපනින් ඉන් ටු ඩිෆරන්ට් වේස්. රයිට්? ෆයර්වෝල් එක කියලා වට හාඩ්වෙයා එකක් හොයා ගන්න පුළුවන්. ඒ වගේම සොෆ්ට්වෙයා එකක් දැන් මම මගේ වින්ඩෝස් ඔපරේටින් සිස්ටම් එකේ ෆයර්වෝල් එකකුත් තියෙනවා. See, Windows Defender firewall, right? So this is the firewall. This is the software firewall. Right? So the main or power which you need, after network set can connect to another. Right? Virus card that can network specific can be there at never. Yeah, how much of that can be done? There are other things too. පුළුවන් තේසඳු හැකර්ස් ලව නතර කරන්න පුළුවන් මොකද හැකර් කෙනෙක් කියන්නේ සමන් who is accessing outside the network එලියේ ඉඳලා දැන් දැන් හැකර් කෙනෙකුට ඔයාගේ කම්පියුටර් එක නිකන් ඕන් කරලා තියෙනකොට එන්න බෑ ඔයා ඉන්ටර්නෙට් එකේ කනෙක්ට් වෙලා ඉන්න ඕන හැකර්ට පුළුවන් ඉන්ටර්නෙට් වලින් එයා ඔයා කනෙක්ට් වෙලා ඉන්න පාත් එක දිගේ ඇතුළට එන්න එතකොට ෆයර්වෝල් එකක් තිබුණාම firewall එක තේරුම් ගන්නවා මේ එන්නේ පිටස්තරයක් කෙනෙක් මෙයාට access නැහැ මේ network එකට ඒක නිසා යන්න දෙන්න බැහැ කියලා got it කසඳු right great Okay, regarding the router, yeah, it's better you write it up to this point. And uh, people, it's not up to that point. It's better you write the entire para because the final line uh, discuss about what router is doing. उदाम्या वायरस गार्ड रियली डस नॉट हैव टू डिटेक्ट दी हैकर्स 
uh, antivirus software has the ability to detect the viruses and malware, right? Not the hackers. Like hacker is a person who is using a program to access your computer, right? So that particular program, uh, like, cannot be easily recognized by a uh, antivirus software because antivirus software is there to recognize the malware. So when the hacker is accessing your computer, uh, antivirus software won't recognize hackers program as a malware. It is it is just uh, trying to be legit. Yeah, Right? So Again, when hacker needs to come, hacker Right? Then when it comes to the malware, it's a different story, though. Right? Like we can receive a malware through an email, through the pen drives, and all these things. Like most of the time, we are involving to we are involving in uh, taking the malware into our computer we, without our like without any intention, right? Not not intentionally, uh, unknowingly, right? But antivirus software is there to recognize that kind of programs, right? So it's it's two different scenarios, Udami. Got it? All right. Okay. So are we done with the router? Right. How about others? Right, great. Okay, moving forward to write about the modem. So, have the topic called modem. Uh huh. Let's write it like this. Yeah, let's write it point wise, right? So, the first point. Uh, write it like this. The first point uh, helps to have internet, helps to have internet, helps to have internet, helps to have internet via telephone wires, VIA, via, via means through, via telephone wires. And next point has the ability, has the ability, has the ability to convert, has the ability, has the ability to convert, to convert. Digital signals into analogs, digital signal into analog signals, and and vice versa, V I C E V E. R S A vice versa. Vice versa is a Latin word which indicates uh, like other way around or like the opposite way.
has the ability to convert digital signal into analog signals and vice versa. Right, so within brackets, put a full stop and within brackets, say modulation and demodulation. So the words are here. Modulation and demodulation. And the last point, oh yeah, first point, uh, first point goes like this. Uh, how did I say? I was, uh, uh, can anyone uh, repeat? What did I say? Like, Matamata uh, Vidyata help to have internet via telephone wires or telephone connection, something like that. Yeah, you can write it like that. Helps to have internet connection. Helps to have internet connection. Via, VIA, via telephone wires. Telephone wires. Okay, Sulapi. Right, great. So, yeah, Ravindu, is it the first one? The, the first point? Help to have, help to have internet, help to have internet via telephone wires, via telephone wires. Help to have internet connection via telephone wires. Right, so next point, there are, there are, there are internal, external and wireless modems. It is in your book. There are internal, external and wireless Modems. Then we will dongle the car. It's a wireless modem. Right? And the line after as the last point. Today's routers have a modem inbuilt in the device.
All right. Are we done? Okay. So the next topic is firewall. Yeah, so put the uh, heading firewall and uh, copy these two sentences. A firewall operates as a secured barrier between internal and internet and network in exchange in data among computers. The second point, firewall can be purchased in both form as software and hardware. Yes, Tesandu. If if uh, if someone has a very good computing and networking knowledge, uh, they can right uh, firewall like a breaker and a pull up. Have a firewall like someone in Hadan meeting him a breaker and a very big make any good up without him firewall issues out. Uh, they're going to patch up the things, patch up means like take a repair color. I cut on the very very big table of holding a Hadan. Excuse me. Right, one is finished. How about the others? Okay. So moving forward, the client server network. And what else do we have? Uh, yeah, we have some little stuff. Okay, let's try to finish as much as possible. Yes. Right, so it's client server network. May client server network It's something we use day to day basis, right? So I think you uh, uh, always, uh, like uh, in, in most of the time, you are connected with the internet, right? So you are going to a website means that you are receiving this, that you are a part of this client server network, right? So now, what is this client server network means? It means there is this computer, right? So it's, in, 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 when it comes to the server computers, it's not just like a computer of ours. It's a little bit big in size. Sometimes it's very big, right? Uh, like when it comes to the Google web server, Facebook web server, Instagram web server kind of things. So those computers, the servers are there to provide a service. Now, if you think about the, uh, uh, the Google service, right? It is given by the Google server. Google search engine, the search computer, that all the data is stored in a computer which is in the Google Corporation, right? 
so that is called the google server right so you need internet to search something ne the google karanna na what internet only so using the internet what you are doing is you are connecting with this google server somewhere in america right then google servers uh, india wala thiyena you know, australia wala thiyena you know, ever thank you to ekey kondo locate karala thiyena so we are connecting to that particular computer through internet right so then we ask something from them that particular computer will provide us the details right so that means that server the google server is always there to provide the data what we need or like what we search right so he is giving a service to us so because of that that particular computer is called the server got servers chaati ek ek hote hain aur web server ke rati hain wahan mail server ke rati hain wahan right so even even you are experiencing the mail server even though you don't know uh, uh, that you are involving with a mail server so like if you i think you all have the email addresses so if you are having a email address means you are facilitated by a mail server because whatever the emails that we have it is going to be either gmail or yahoo or hotmail or kind of things right so uh, the gmail belongs to the google corporation yahoo belongs to the yahoo corporation right ymail is belongs to the yahoo corporation so they have this computer which has all the email accounts in that computer right then gmail ara gattot google corporation ekey kena computer ekak athule ape mulu lokema tiyena gmail accounts store vela tiyena so using the internet what we are doing we are connecting with that email server and when we connected to that email server that email server is ask for a username and a password so once we provide that username and the password that email server that particular computer just open or like show us our our space only to myself right ekana mama mage username password dunnama mage kotasa vitarai mage space ekak vitarai yama ta penna haba hamoge me yo it's in there so that particular computer is providing us the email service email facility so that is why we call it an email server so generally we call all these things as servers it the over low internet ekey gihilla connect wena onama website ekakata there is a server right so in the uh, grade 11 book we are talking about the html lesson so there we are going to talk about the servers in detail right then eta kota service ekak dena kena thamai server kiyanne ethura service ekak danna api so we are called the clients right to the mulu lokema gatot clients la thamai wedi right and servers they are limited numbers right so that is what you call client server architecture right okay let's write that down and in the session for today so i hope by next week we will be able to finish up the lesson right we we'll try our best right so let's write this down so put the head in client server network client server network client server network and it's better you copy these three lines ek a points to not be really what come up me
right so if you are done with this let's end the session for today right so remember people but like this week onwards we are going to meet up at 2 30 right so it's 2 30 to 4 the class time right okay so thank you very much people have a nice weekend thank so you sir. By next week we are going to end the second lesson and we are going to move to the practical lesson which is the word processing software right okay thank you very much people have a nice weekend right okay Right, okay. Thank you very much, everyone.